Hey guys, welcome back to some more Overhit. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Dominique. Now, she's one that a lot of people left comments about after I did my Young Gleck video talking about him in the Fafnir raid. And so what I've done is I've decided to build her up to the same level as my Young Gleck and sort of compare the two. Um, first, first off, we'll go and do the spotlight on Dominique, go over her skills and stuff. And then we'll go specifically into which one I will be building and why. So first of all, we look at her leader skill. 15% attack and 15% defense for allies. Not bad. Uh, allies of light out attribute. Not too bad. Not amazing. There's better leader skills. If you got something better, use it. Um, skill one, really nice if you do need to have a purge and remove a buff. It's a single target nuke that removes one buff from the enemy. Skill two is what she is all about. And that is single target nuke deals extra damage against dark enemies. So she's very, very similar in, um, in skill sort of sense two young leg, two single target attacks, one that does extra damage if conditions met. Um, but hers is really nice, especially for arena at the moment where everyone is using Cicero as their tank, where she can pretty much just one shot Cicero's. Um, mine is only plus four. She has zero skills up and only 27 abilities and she's only A grade. So if you had this at S grade, plus five, 40 abilities and skilled up, I feel like you, you, you'd struggle not to one shot Cicero's um, just because of the damage that ability puts out without having to have any setup. Whereas the Glek requires that setup, which isn't as good in arena compared to this skill here. So for me, Dominic definitely wins in arena. When we look at base stats, what I'll do here is I'm just going to unequip all these, uh, all her gear. And you'll see that the base stats are actually identical for them at the same uh, level cap and same A grade. So 3359 attack on there and 3359 attack on the young Glek. The one thing about young Glek is his second skill does actually have a higher multiplier. Mine's is skilled up to level four and it's at 298 and 159. And when we look at Dominique, uh, if we go to skills, go to level four, it's 285 compared to that 298 and then the 152 additional. So it is a lower multiplier even when skilled up. So Young Glek does have just the sheer power over her. But like I said, the fact that she doesn't need the setup is what makes her really nice. Now, when we look at the raid, she's really good in situations of the raid, as this is Fafni raid specifically, when you're actually um, just breaking into a new level of the raid and you need to sort of spam heals a lot more often. Using the young Glek at those stages when you're only just surviving can be detrimental because having to get the two skills in to get his big nuke uh, may actually make you lose out on the healing and actually die. Whereas her throwing only the one attacking ability in between a healing rotation is very, very doable. Um, but the young Glek, once you get the better gear, he sort of, sort of starts to outshine because he has got those bigger multipliers and what you can be putting in those extra damaging abilities. Um, he just does sort of seem for me anyway to do out damage. So I don't know if end game when we get to like raid level 10, whether it's just going to always be like that where it's a struggle and a heal fest and she's going to outshine or whether you're going to get to the stage of gear where you can sort of progress to the point where you can use two damaging skills in your rotation to get through it. So that's just the way I've been playing it anyway and that's what I've found. So what we'll do is we'll put the gear back on her and we'll take her into an arena match and then we'll take her into a raid. So we'll equip this on, equip this on, equip that and I do actually have this for some little bonus. Um, and let's just jump into challenges and go straight into arena. I'll probably cancel this arena, uh, as soon as we get started, just to show you, I just want to show you the initial, initial burst of her. But the other awesome thing about her is that there's so many dark units floating, floating around. Oh, wouldn't you know it? He hasn't got, he hasn't got it in the front line. All right. We're just going to forfeit this because we just want to fight <laughs> The, like that is the first person I've fought that doesn't have a Cicero on his front line. And that is a really cool strategy. I do like that because I think a lot of people would be going in with this strat to try and just nuke Cicero. So I do really like that strategy, actually. You can look at this three dark units in a row. So she's always going to be relevant um, against this lineup, um, especially with the, the amount of proxies getting around. Uh, let's see. What, what debuff was that? Please don't be attack debuff. Okay, I think it was attack debuff. Yep, that was attack debuff. Okay, so we didn't get to see it there and I've got no more arena attacks. You know what, screw it. Let's just spend some gems. Let's get it done. 
I want to show you guys the one shot potential of this girl in arena and let's go enter let's let's see if we can't get some of these oh, yeah let's enter for five that's okay we, we can take that okay this is her okay there's no attack break on this team I don't care what else happens I just want to show you the damage that she can put out straight off the bat so let's hit it there you go, 9.9k. He only just survived. Like I said, mine's is only plus four um, and no skill ups and also not a max talent tree. So like I said, once she does really get maxed out, I feel like she has such a good potential for just for one-shotting those Ciceros. And I do often actually manage to one-shot them as well, um, depending on the auto attack damage as well. So she's definitely, I think, once maxed, very, very viable in arena for that single target nuke. And like I said, there's so many proxies and Tezes run, running around in arena that even once she's done that first nuke, she can use her first skill after that and just get some really good damage out and often one shot those guys as well because they're a lot squishier. So that is gonna be it for the arena. We're not gonna go through this because it'll just take forever. Just tanking some rating, you know, we'll, we'll get back up there eventually. Um, I don't get to play much arena during the week anyway, work's too busy. But let's go over into special and check out raid. So raid, so we'll go into Fafnir and we'll go into a level eight raid. We'll just start one if we have to. Uh, we'll leave it open to pub Publix, level 8, and we'll swap over for, where is she, where is she, there she is, the Dominique. Okay, so this is the team I've been experimenting with, so we'll jump into it and see how it goes. Nothing guaranteed, but we'll see how it works. I'm going with a double attack buff team to see if we can get some more auto attack damage in, um, but what we'll do is we'll just get in and we'll start the battle. So, what I'm going to do here is go straight off the bat and use use her skill too just to see what sort of damage we get without the attack actually no he's going to put that on okay let's just go for this this is my standard rotation where i get a bit of damage reduction on the boss with that skill and then i'll heal up with the attack buff next actually i think we might heal everyone with the defense get the defense buff and then rotate through and put an attack buff on so i'm still working out the best rotation since i put this elfie into the team but for now, let's do that. And then we'll use her skill too. And see what sort of damage we can actually get out of it. With that crit debuff, you're never really gonna be critting here, so it's not really relevant. Uh, we did miss that attack buff on there because it's only a three man attack buff. So what we'll do is we will attack with the Elfie and then go for it so we do have the attack buff and see what sort of damage it does actually do. But like I said, at the moment it's just sort of rinsing through healing abilities and squeezing in uh, the attacking abilities where you can. Uh, when I do do this with Cicero, I skip that damage reduction at the start and just go straight for his first skill to get the crit buff. But there you go, that's 19k for that second ability with the attack buff, which isn't too bad. We're gonna heal back up here and we may as well just do a raid run and I can show you guys how I do my raid runs because unlike Arena, I don't wanna miss out on that gear. So. Um, we'll keep going through and basically now it's any time I see a window where I think I'm sitting pretty healthy I'll go in and throw in that skill one if it's available if it's not then I won't so We're looking pretty good now uh, We might actually go for it actually no because we don't have the attack buff. We're gonna go Elfie get that attack buff and Then we'll push after that or we could just go for the second attack buff that's what we might do. And if you didn't know, uh, all buffs do stack with each other. So we can get double attack buff here and then we can go for skill two and see what kind of damage we can do if we do get the second buff. So does she get that attack buff? Oh, she missed out on his attack buff again. We're having no luck with that. I think it might be because her attack is low because she's only a plus four, but nonetheless, let's punch this out. See what damage we do again. Another 19.3, not too bad damage. Um, we'll go over here, see, see what damage we are up to. 97 on the 8. Uh, we do need some big heals now, so we're going to go the attack buff again. Like I said, I'm experimenting with this double attack team. Let me know where your guys' raid teams are, because I am like I think that the double attack buff would be really nice for the auto attack damage. Like I said, because you need to heal so often, uh, being able to heal but also buff that auto attack damage, I feel like could um, increase the damage we deal. Uh, but I'm not 100% sure. So we're looking at that sort of damage at the moment. I think we might go for a skill one into Alcon heal. That's the other thing. I really want um, Alcon's Grimoire. I suck at saying that word, sorry. 
But if I can get his, that gives him a passive defense break as well, which would be really nice for this team. But we're still waiting on that. So that's the damage we're up to at the moment. We're going to go straight into her second skill after this and see if we can't crack 150k. The best I've done is about 180k on rate 8, but that was with the young leg. And once again, still only at plus 4, A grade, zero skill ups, and not a max skill tree. So uh, it's going not too bad. This is where we just want to go YOLO anyway. So we might just put the attack buff on, then get her skill 1 out. Actually, I don't even know if we'll have time for the attack buff, so let's just do skill 1. Punch a bit of extra damage out. 7,000, another 8. Nice. We're doing all right here. This is respectable. We won't actually use... I uh, tried to dodge that. In those last few seconds, just avoid using skills so you can get some more auto attacks in. But there you go. That's 164k. Um, which you could see individual damage, but... You saw she was doing close to that 20k damage. And like I said, you can upgrade her further to get her doing more damage. So that is pretty much it for the spotlight on the Dominique. As for which one of these two I'm going to be building, uh, I think I'm going to stick with the Young Lek. There's two main reasons. Number one, he just looks like a beast, so I really want to get him. The other thing is, if I'm going to uh, um, invest him in, into one of them for S grade, the good thing about the Young Lek is he also has usefulness um, against any other element of enemy because he can always get the crit buff and then go straight into the second skill and he gets that extra multiplier. Whereas the Dominique, when the meta shifts, if raids change which one we're going for or the, um, for instance, the, the other one that he's really good in is the Untamed Sanctum. Uh, I can get that crit buff on the Untamed Sanctum and then do extra damage against that boss. Whereas Dominique is sort of stuck. Uh, that's pretty much why I'm going to go with the Young Glek. Besides the fact that he looks like a boss, he just has that extra versatility, has higher multipliers, and I just think once we get to end game, uh, when you get to that stage where you can actually fit more damaging abilities into a rotation against the raid boss, I feel like his damage is just going to be that bit better. Also, having the crit buff, it makes him easier for him to crit. Uh, the other reason I really want to do him is because I want to get him S grade and I want to get him plus 5 is because, like I said, I'm experimenting with that Elfie, and if I can find her, I just want to show you what I'm trying to do with her over here. So I'm experimenting with the Elfie, and what I want to test out is using her skill too, instead of his crit buff in the in the rotation, because this way she'll be able, if I can get him, if I can get my young Gleck to have the highest attack, I'll be able to give him that crit buff from Elfie, but also remove the crit debuff that the boss puts on him. So I'll be able to cleanse that crit debuff, give him the crit buff, and he should be critting with those hits. And once they crit, they do heaps of damage. So that's where, where I'm looking. Um, so it's it's all experimental. I'm not gonna say that one is definitely better than the other. I definitely think Dominique's better in arena, but overall end game, I'm thinking maybe Young Glek. But you know, if you've got a lot of dupes of one and not the other, they're very close in my opinion and just build whatever you want to build. So that is going to be it for Dominique and Dominique versus Young Glek. I uh, hope, hope you guys got something out of it. Um, let me know if you guys have tested and you prefer either one. Uh, I'm really curious to see your opinions because like I said, I feel like right now Dominique's a bit better. But looking end game, I'm thinking Young Glek will be better. Plus he looks like a beast. So thanks for watching guys. I'll look forward to seeing you in the next one. Cheers.